Before the last couple of weeks, we've rarely heard about Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, aside from one conversation with President Trump that was widely talked about in the media. Yet after this week, Zelensky's leadership has earned praise from nearly every country on the planet, and his reply to an offer for escape from his country during the Russian invasion will likely be repeated in history books for years to come. His words, I don't need a ride, I need ammo, have gone viral. But who is President Zelensky, and how did he find himself in such a momentous position in history? Zelensky was born January 25, 1978, in Krivri, Ukraine, which was then in the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. His father, Alexander Zelensky, was a professor, and his mother, Rima Zelensky, worked as an engineer. His grandfather, Semyon, served in the Red Army during World War II. Semyon's father and three brothers were murdered in the Holocaust. Zelensky attended Kree Re Institute of Economics and earned a law degree, but he didn't go in to work in the legal field. This was likely because his true passion lied in performance and comedy. From the age of 17, he was part of a competitive comedy troupe, even creating his own team, which transformed into the traveling troupe Kvartal 95, which he performed with from 1998 to 2008, touring through Moscow and other post-Soviet countries. That troupe, Kvartal 95, eventually morphed into a production company, and he began producing shows for Ukrainian television. Zelensky starred in many movies between 2008 and 2016, even voicing Paddington Bear in the Ukrainian dub of the movies. In 2006, he even won the first season of Ukraine's Dancing with the Stars. So how do you get from becoming a career actor to president of Ukraine? Well, ironically, Zelensky's satirical comedy show Servant of the People played a huge role. In the show, he played a high school history teacher in his 30s who somehow wins the presidential election after a video of his rant against corruption in the government goes viral. It became an instant hit, and it was the anti-corruption sentiment among the population that paved the way for Zelensky. In 2018, Kvartal 95 registered Servant of the People as a political party in Ukraine. And in 2019, he ran on the anti-corruption platform and defeated former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko with more than 70% of the vote. Early on, there was concern that he was actually a puppet to his benefactor, a wealthy oligarch named Ihor Kolomoisky. During his campaign, Zelensky had to be careful because of his association with Kolomoisky. The oligarch was powerful, having co-founded Privet Bank, the largest commercial bank in Ukraine, before it was nationalized in 2016. However, despite being a comedian, Zelensky proved to be no clown or puppet to Kolomoisky or any other power, political faction, or country. Zelensky seems almost prophetically prepared for what Ukraine is facing now, though of course reality is always much starker than any satire. As he spoke over video at the UN, he received a standing ovation from practically every country, and even inspired nations to engage like they never have before. From Germany reversing its policy to not give arms to a country in conflict, to even reliably neutral Sweden to take a side and freeze Russian assets. Zelensky has shown that his finest performance wasn't confined to a comedy script, and he now has the whole world contributed in big and small ways, praying that Putin's number one target will live to see another day, protect his homeland and his people, and we'll get to see more of what this man will do in the future. This is Carly Sicali, FISM News.